Good morning to everybody. Listen for us in today's story time. I'd like you to open your pupils' books at the 98th page and to prepare your vocabularies. To write down new words. First of all, look at these pictures and repeat these questions. Upset. Upset. Hurricane. Hurricane. Servant. Servant. Dig. Dig. Huge. Huge. Reward. Reward. Write down the many vocabularies and learn them by heart. Dig. Копать. Hardly. Едва. Huge. Огромный. Hurricane. Hurricane. Ураган. Lazy. Lazy. Ленивый. Reward. Reward. Награда. Servant. Servant. Stare. Stare. Пристально смотреть. Upset. Upset. Расстроенный. Don't forget to learn these words by heart. First of all, I'd like you to watch the video to this text. The Town with Lazy People. A story from Africa. A long time ago in Africa, there was a town where the people were very lazy. They just didn't want to do anything. They didn't clear their gardens or pick up litter from the streets. The town never looked clean, but the people didn't seem to care. Afolabi, the head of the town, was very upset. And he tried to get the people to look after the town. But it was no good. They cleaned it up for a few days and then they just went back to their old lazy ways. One day, a very strong hurricane blew through the town. It blew down a tree and threw it across the main road of the town. Nobody wanted to do anything about the tree so they just left it there. People climbed over it when they wanted to go from one end of the town to the other. Afolabi was very angry and decided to teach them all a lesson. He told his servants to dig a hole next to the tree and put a bag of gold in it. Then he waited. The next day, Amaki, a poor farmer, saw the tree and stopped to try and move it. He was not very strong and it was a difficult job. Instead of helping Amaki, the people of the town just made fun of him. Afolabi heard about Amaki the farmer and sent his servants to help him. Thank you for trying to help. Afolabi said to Amaki when he saw him. Now I want you to dig beside the tree. Amaki did as he was told. And very soon he saw a huge bag of gold coins. Those coins are yours, said Afolabi. <laughs> Amaki could hardly believe his luck and thanked him. No. Don't thank me, said Afolabi, and turned to look at the people of the town, who were by now staring in shock. May this be a lesson to you all. Rewards come to those who work. Let's read and translate this text ourselves. 
A long time ago in Africa, there was a town where the people were very lazy. Давным-давно в Африке был город, где люди были очень ленивы. They just didn't want to do anything. Они совсем ничего не хотели делать. They didn't clear their gardens and pick up litter from the streets. Они не ухаживали за садом и даже не поднимали мусор с улиц. The town never looked clean, but the people didn't seem to care. Город никогда не выглядел чистым. Но, казалось, людей это не заботит. Афалаби, the head of the town, was very upset and he tried to get the people to look after the town, but it was no good. Афалаби, глава города, был очень расстроен и пытался настроить людей, приглядывать за городом, look after, but it was no good. Но это не увенчалось успехом. They cleaned it up for a few days, and then they just went back to their old lazy ways. Они убирали его на несколько дней, а затем возвращались к своему привычному, ленивому образу жизни. One day a strong hurricane blew through the town. Однажды суровый ураган прошелся по городу blew down a tree and threw it across the main road of the town. Он сдул дерево и бросил его прям поперек главной дороги в городе. Nobody wanted to do anything about the tree. Никто и делать ничего не хотел с этим деревом. So they just left it there. Они его просто там оставили. People climbed over it and they wanted to to go from one end of the town to other. Люди перебирались через него, если хотели попасть с одного конца города на другой. Афараби was very angry and decided to teach them all a lesson. Афалаби был очень зол и решил преподать им всем урок. He told his servants to dig a hole next to the tree and put a bag of gold in it. Он приказал своим служащим Выкопать яму рядом с деревом и положил туда золото. Then he waited, а затем подождал. The next day, Hamaki, a poor farmer, saw the tree and stopped to try and move it. На следующий день Hamaki, бедняк, бедный фермер, увидел это дерево, остановился и хотел его сдвинуть. He was not very strong and it was a difficult job. Он был недостаточно силен, это было... Довольно-таки сложная задача. Instead of helping Amaki, the people of the town just made fun of him. Вместо того, чтобы помочь Amaki, люди просто или смеялись над ним. Афалаби heard about Amaki, the farmer, and sent his servants to help him. Афалаби услышал о Amaki, фермере, и послал своих слуг помочь ему. Thank you for trying to help, Falabi said to Amaki when he saw him. Спасибо тебе за помощь, за то, что ты попытался помочь, сказал Афалаби Амаки, когда увидел его. Now I wanted to, get, to dig beside the tree. А сейчас я хотел бы, чтобы ты выкопал за дерево. Амаки did as he was told. Амаки сделал так, как ему сказали. And very soon he saw a huge bag of gold coins. И очень скоро он увидел огромную сумку с деньгами, то есть с золотыми монетами. Those coins are yours. Те монеты твои, said Afalabi, сказал Афалаби. Амаки could hardly believe his luck and thanked him. Амаки с трудом мог поверить в свою удачу и поблагодарил его. No, don't thank me. Нет, не благодари меня, said Afalabi, and turned to look at the people of the town who were... By now, staring in shock. И повернулся к людям, которые стояли, уставившись в шоке. May this be a lesson to you all. Может быть, это будет уроком для вас всех. Rewards come to those who work. Награда приходит к тем, кто работает. Now, I'd like you to pause the video and read this text not less than two times. А сейчас, остановив видео, прочтите этот текст. Не менее двух раз. Exercise 2. 
read and choose. Выбери, прочти и выбери. As examples, the town was always dirty because the people. Город был всегда грязным, потому что. Didn't seem to care. Их это не заботило. Couldn't clear the gardens. Не могли убрать сад. Didn't seem to care. То есть казалось, что им это не важно. Write down your answers in your notebooks and send me. Запишите правильные ответы в тетрадку и сфотографируйте, и вышлите мне. Ребята, достаточно будет записать только номер вопроса и правильный ответ. Thank you for the lesson. It's over. Goodbye. Don't forget to learn words.